Uh, main session part two, the sequel. <laughs> once it, once it was again, same question. And you already had the update, but here is, but here's the update at least equivalent to you. One name is sorry. One um, scrap sister is getting married to Andrew. The that that pirate you that um, pirate that was um dead but was resurrected, and that's because Andrew's having a baby with name is his sis with scrap sister. I'm sorry, scraps. Uh, golden. What do you mean? What do you mean, me? No, no sorry. You misspoke. I said scraps. Yeah, Leafs character. Okay, well, I thought like my character was somehow sleeping with um with her sister for a second there. No scraps, Golden Leaf. Rest assured, even if that has somehow was the case, uh, Veb would be the happy Godfather to make sure everyone <laughs> safe. What you what you not going to be the Godfather of scraps? <laughs> oh, yeah, future baby. <laughs> He loves her sister. Okay, not like that. Oh boy. Anyway, as you heard earlier, um, Enzo's extending her bar. She's getting rid of the upstairs, um, upstairs in, making it to the dining hall, and brought out some of the properties next door to her to make that the inn. Excellent. So yeah, already upward. That's said earlier, the new church should be built when we actually start our proper session with the with the wedding of um with, with um of um Andrew of Scrap's sister. Hi. However, however, like I said, however, like I said earlier, the the um not the the. The Pearl Pirates are back, they are full force, and seeing that um, both the Blackguard Pirates and the Gym Pirates rejected their offers to um, rejoin their um, Pirate Armada, they might, they, might, they might make some enemies. But the top of the enemies list is you, William. Does <laughs> <laughs> that cause trouble? Huh? Did I cause trouble? Well, like I said, they, like I said, they pretty much said, "Hey, you you brought down my nation, and I'm going to see your your nation fall." Good luck with that. Well, remember, you still you can't you can't even find where their nation, where their island is. <laughs> How is it somehow that? Uh... William becomes enemy uh, non persona. It somehow the uh, angry dwarf somehow gets forgotten. Oh no, she has plans for you as well. <laughs> Is Mittens just that much a, a good of a PR pony? Huh? Is Mittens just that good of a PR pony? No. We said it last week. The we said at the last session the reason why the gym pirates won't join the um back to pirate armada is because they're they're using it for pretty much some hard labor. It's like, oh you're you're drunken dwarves. Pick up that pick up that thing and go over there. So yeah, they not they're not exactly a fan game disrespected constantly. Meanwhile, said dwarf will give out booze to those who work hard. That's 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 why they're more on your side than than Pearl's side. So church is opening in six months. Like I said, the the grand sorceress is this decided. You know what? Maybe I should do what William's doing and just spread my influence around. I won't visit in towns. I'm gonna see how everyone's doing. Like remind them who I am and see that the source of council is there for them no matter what. Realizing that um her, her fork source of council members are busy. 
like month like Monday is too busy like now to start to take over that island was the where the pirate kingdom is to raise his own undead island like the bar is just being his social but just being his um suck ex succubus wives and teaching them magic. And the cleric is actually sending a new priest in place of Sister Heart. And as you can see, their for first meeting, he's he's a very hardcore like, like, like pray, like praise, like praise the gods, praise the sorcerer council, damn, damn you, for, damn, and damned anyone who rejects them. So, I don't think we're going to like him. I'm pretty. I'm making sure you don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be at the hatred of, of Holly, but I'm pretty. But I hope I can get pretty damn close. So six months. What's your oh and oh and nameless? Yes. Nameless. Yeah, I'm here. Doctor. Uh, yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Can you hear us? Okay. Yeah, I was able to hear you. I was wondering why you couldn't hear me. Was I too quiet or something? Oh no, I I can hear you. That's fine. You you know it's one other thing. Why why you have black on uh, the Blackguard Island? Yeah. A week before the snowstorm. A week before the um, winter stops. She. The the captain or is everyone like like okay, week before social sort of stocks, everyone back everyone back to house immediately. I see two all people right. that's pretty much all all but all but stripped down their underwear a man and woman couple, all but stripped down their underwear or baby suit, go into a go into a house and then you can see them climbing down a very long shaft. Their their job is to shut off the is to shut off the 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 magma river that goes through the nation to key up the nation. And it's gonna take a couple of days because well, it's a hot well, milk no, gets hot, so you have to so one of them has to cool while I'm on turns it. The person cool and basic one's our mana. Had to go in, sleep one night, and then come out out next day. So yeah, that's how the nation's heated. A, a river of magma runs through the nation. Was that okay. the shut? Was it shut off one week before the one week before everyone get before the before the winter ends? Okay. So maybe if some come up with a better way other than magma river to heat up the nation. Maybe to be a little more on your side. Just saying. Yep. Uh, seems like Seawall. I I gotta write this down for my notes to report to Seawall. All right. So. So obviously you go to. So obviously after the six months you go to report to Seawall about everything. About the fact that they're 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 fashioning new bullets for like anti world war sorry anti um I to say world war but you know what I mean anti vampire yeah. as well as a booster shot for their troops mm -hmm. like how the nation is run pretty much a pretty much a military base a military slash civilian base like military right. base. But with civilian um, amenities like um, supermar like a supermarket, men and ladies of the night, a gun shop, an alchemy shop. Pretty much the crew the crew is sixty, but the but the underground city is like a couple of hundred. All right. Intelligence being very nice this time of year. Well, that's because you rolled high, very high in your intelligence at the check <laughs> last time. So I had to. Yeah. 
All right, so you report anything to Seawall? Or you yep, gonna report I'm everything? Reporting it. I'm reporting everything. All right, um, William. Sorry, William. What's your response when you hear about the uh, hear about the about? town? So there was a report about a town doing something. Huh? Uh, w w what's the report about? Sorry, I was double checking other things. All right. Um, uh, all right. Um, doc the doctor informed you how how Black Guy um, how Black Guard Islands run. How is it being run? Say again. And how is it being run? Uh, military, militarily with um, civilian amenities. Okay. And they run like a military, but you have civilian amenities to make sure the the troops, their um, the pirates don't go crazy. Okay. So anything Got from it. supermarkets to um, let's just say. From anything from supermarkets to brothels. They have their own alchemist, their own gunsmith. And 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 at times here by by River Mouth by River the Magma was was they must shut off a week before this the winter ends. Okay. okay. So we have locate. So we have location of the pirate town that's been giving us trouble. This kind of. Uh, you mean Pearl, you mean Pearl Island? Roll to find out. Roll to find out. Round rolls very high. Uh, what do I need to roll? Uh, what what, what uh, skill do I need to roll? Say again. Which skill do you want me to roll? Ah, damn it. I would say perception check. That's probably your own. Yep. That's probably your own. Still thirteenth level, right? We haven't leveled up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let me re roll that. Thirty-six. Okay. Bad news is you don't find a town. Mm. Sorry. Good news is you you start to piss together why no one can find the town or oh, the okay. island for that matter, and that's because it's not an island. Oh, it's a big ship moving around. Nope. It's an it's another it's another thing. If you want to reroll again to find out what that thing is, go ahead. Right. If not, you just know that it's not a stationary either object. Uh, what, what do I need to roll for that? Would it be Arcana? Would it be uh, Perception? Um, uh, perception. For some reason, I'm just imagining it's either a un mobile submarine city, a living giant, basically people living on a turtle, giant turtle's back, or a flying city. It's going to be one of the three. Damn it, Namus, don't spoil everything. <laughs> uh, he's, guessing, well, he's guessing at what it could be. And he's probably I was imagining Mortal Engines. Oh, God. Would you like to use your special your hero point? But, but yeah, just too low to... But, yeah, that's the, that's the guesses you have. You don't want... You don't have an exact item of what it is yet. That's too low. We'll, for we'll exact. keep people. We'll keep people on an eye out for it. It's not a major concern immediately, but um, we definitely want to. Keep uh, question: Are we allowed to give each other our hero points for rolls? Okay. If you're willing to sacrifice, yes. I... Like it's not like we haven't done it before. <laughs> yeah. So. Would you like to use you my got, you can also you you I mean, you, 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 you can also you also roll that. yourself. Yeah. You can um, also roll yourself. 
Uh, you can you can wait. I can use my stealth for this. No, no, you you, you no, you, you can do it yourself. You can, you can roll perception yourself. You're gonna get um, a vet. You're gonna. I'm gonna have you a vet because you have all the um all the resource that the black guard powers had to find the island. Uh, so you got so you get some advantage. All right, let me get to my scared sheet then real quick. Uh, chicken. Chicken. Okay, there we go. One second, let me just get to my sheet. Quick. All right then. Checking perception and pers and and advantage gives me a plus five, right? Mm-hmm. All right, perception. So it'll be a... Too low, uh, sorry. I'm going to use my hero point for that then. Go ahead. For you for exact location. Or at least exact... Or exact... Well, there we go, let's 40, go! 42! You, you look at the note... You look at the notes for the... From the black guard pirates compared to those from sea from seawalls events from um winds against it's like wait a second. Those fuckers are using a giant dragon turtle. <laughs> Knew it. That's that's why no one can find their island. They can just dive underwater. Or to or constantly move around. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. So it was literally my first guess, wasn't it? The one of the three options I put up? Well the second guess, but yeah. Well, combination of first and second guess. Is a giant but a giant dragon turtle. Yeah, I said like it was giant turtles only that on its back. Yeah. But yep. one, that's how come no one can find that island, and two <laughs> Yeah. That's something you don't want to mess with on 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 a, on a seafair basis. Yeah, that, for all we know, they could have possibly developed. Because no offense, I don't think any of you could fight a giant dragon turtle. <laughs> no, no, we can't. Yep. Uh, it's, especially in his home, especially in his home land, his home at his hometown, which is Primus, which is Primus, eight percent of the planet. <laughs> but go ahead. Uh, Ty, do you recall the last time we encountered a giant, like, dragon turtle in Shendu's game? Oh, uh, yeah, we ran away like a bitch! <laughs> exactly! And we had a whole crew on your side! <laughs> yep, and ballistas, and all that good stuff. We saw the, dra the uh, dragon turtle. So, so imagine a tame nope. dragon turtle... That's under command the most successful pirate in the world. Hmm. But yeah. Anyway. Alright, so um, William, so what evil event is going to event during the six month time period? I mean during I mean obviously just continue um Iterative advancement, as well as um, my biggest investment is probably going to be in just trying to get more people. So more factories, more production, all that stuff, especially north of the uh, uh, north of the mountains, you know, where people can't get to it easily. So more dirigibles, uh, more, um, you know, more of those powered gliders. More, um, you know, more uh, arm, uh, more squalls, the armored vehicles. That are amphibious, basically amphibious tanks, as well as uh, expand our uh, naval yards uh, to build bigger ships. So, All right, well, just, just build more. Uh, just build more. You know, get more people, build more. All right, roll me a diplomacy check to see how many people you can get. Well, um, it, remember, it's not diplomacy I'm using. I'm utilizing the artistry philosophy. Uh, philosophy. Well, to convince people. We've been doing that for a while. Sorry about so, that. 
No problem. Jesus. What the living fuck? The dice gods are you, really do not like you hear, this. You can ask, you have to shoot people off with a stick to see how many people <laughs> want to join yeah. your um, yeah. factories and stuff. Yeah. It seems that hero work is... A, it seems that hero work is only limited. Yeah. Or or once heroes have to retire, then yeah. that they have to fight somewhere they would free their family themselves. So. Well, also, if I'm right, our influence has spread so far into Hope Valley that even though Sister Hart has left them, um, that they can't force us out. So we're probably still expanding in there, too. Uh, we've got the Starlight Republic under our effective control. Yeah, but remember, the, right, the former... First lady is now running for president, so... Oh, I'm smearing the hell... We're smearing the hell out of her. <laughs> Pointing out that she was the wife of that failed last president. And tied to the Sorcerer's Council. All that stuff. Because, again, remember, we control most of the media there, so... We'll keep her... Yeah, but remember, she also expanded, stuff. like... Yes, but I also brought you technology... Brought technology from... Brought you technology... Not yeah. unlike the people... People I've seen before... We're the most advanced nation in the world. And thanks to my wife, the president's being, and thanks to my wife's advancement. So, it's, so you're literally like classy ideas right now. But yeah, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun how you're going to see this several times her campaign. <sighs> but yeah, Primus have your t that entire land, the entire land you on, and and the paladins and the paladins feuding. Though though two, though most of your members are on your island right now because they're recovering or trying to figure out, hey, what's the best strategy to take back the the pal the paladin order. And I was to save it to a full session. Eventually, Steelmore has says, "Listen, I know it's a pal. I know it's a problem with the paladins, but we're losing. We're losing badly. I'm too. I'm too old to fight another war. As much as much as I want to. I need your. I need. I need the help for the gearmen." What would it take? See war? What was that? See, see more ask, see more ask for help from the gearmen. Okay. Uh, what since since, since, the since they're now on the losing end of the war, and he's too mm -hmm. and too old and be up to fight on to fight another and, war. And which, and which war is this one? The pep, the the uh, pound uh, the orange falling apart. Yeah. Um, we'll, um, we'll, I guess we'll start sending, uh, personnel and arms to help. Uh, though again, we'll use that as a backdoor way to start influencing that part of the order to get them to fully break away. Um, and just out and out join the gear, man, is my long-term plan with that. So, yeah. And Pima says, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll... Be my own thing if he ain't to help protect like that. Like Veb. Meanwhile, Veb. I've already heard the expansion ideas. Mm hmm Like what what effect what were you gonna do? What advice you gonna give Emzo? What um what advice you gonna what what are you gonna to have to have um the the gym powers try to join your side? But, but the only thing you know as well that the gym pirates okay, um, have. I'm gonna huh? get to eat. I'm starving. I'll be back in like twenty. All right. Well, the gym pirates have the largest pirate ship because they can't hide how to bring anywhere else. They can't have to bring on their island since the island is a temple. Okay. In regards to the expansion, let's start with that topic first. Uh, if that would be describing with Emzo. Ways of further expanding the cooking school and the farm that they have acquired uh, legally, <laughs> quote unquote, semi-legally. <laughs> yep. 
the farm that they acquired, like, along with, uh, specifically the farmers in, okay, I'm blanking on the name. It was the town south of, uh, of ours. Uh, but they were, like, yeah, see. they had, they was, could you bring up the map again? Yeah, I'm about to pull up right now. Because I'm just blanking on the name. I assume it's this town, right? Yeah. Uh, this one right here. Oh, oh, that without, one. Yeah, without doubt, they're farmers. They got seed. Without yeah. doubt, they need to sell that stuff. So, specifically, like, going on, these are the seeds we want. This is what you want to see when it comes to a good quality seed. This is how we'll expand our farms. Good old malt harp bleh. malt harpy and barley <laughs> and yes yeah, expanding like at least on the uh, the brewing part of the farm as opposed to the livestock farm showing her the uh, the breweries the restaurant the uh, the kitchen schools actually she's and, shocked at me like Holy crap! You have. I thought my expense was, was, was um. Great, but this is. Quality is its own importance. Also, also she has to. Also, she has the um the panda bear with her because obviously she, that panda bear is going to be the one that's expecting all the other um satellite um places. Yep. And Feb gives like uh, the panda bear a bit of the uh, the malt and the barley, as well as some sparge. Uh, sparge is uh, for those that don't make their own beer. The remnants of after you make your beer, and it's kind of some of the runoff stuff. So basically, remainders so of like the malt and sp the malt, barley, and whatnot. So that so that a pound of beer knows what the what good beer tastes like. Mm hmm Yep. Ah uh, well. Yep. So, and that so we clean that was just figure. That was just the expansion part. When it comes to the uh, pirates. Of course, Feb's going to be nice and considerate to the pirates that come into the bar, so long as they themselves are nice and considerate. Oh, no. Oh, the gym powers are never going to... Well, one of the gym powers are trained monks, so obviously you're going to be considerate the last array of ship. And true, really? and two, as long as you give them good food and good alcohol, they'll be your best friends. Yep. And... He will be the best considerate bartender they've ever had. And if anyone tries to uh, engage in an unsolicited uh, bar fight, you break it, you bought it. <laughs> if it's a consensual bar fight between like two or more parties, they're just gonna go out the back and start sw swinging. Yes. And then we're gonna get a free beer. <laughs> but the most important rule is this: if they do anything that could potentially hurt Emzo, like they throw a throw their mug and it happens to hit Emzo, yeah, that's it. You're getting a no hold, no hands held down, bar beat down. Oh, yeah, because wait, one. So I'm going to have one funny story. So. One day, a couple of drunk adventurers come to Enzo's bar. They drank to try to hit Enzo. She's rejected them. One of them drove the bear Enzo. And at that point, the, the captain of the gym pirates cast the beer, place it down, and show the, and show the adventurer why he's a trained martial artist. That the, despite how drunk he is, he's a trained martial artist. Mm-hmm. So he, so pretty much you have a so pretty much have a row right in the center of a show right in the center of, of some people of a of a monk of a 
monk beat the shit out of an adventurer. And another adventurer is like, you know what? Fuck that shit and run and try to escape. Like two of them escape. One of them, one of them is never baked for, for the core master. Who wants to try her new gun so badly and hell. And hell. And hell. Since she's a friend of Enzo's. Eh, I won't try out my new sniper. I finally have a chance to jump new sniper rifle. Last time last time the gearman saw him, he had no he had missing leg. As he knows as he's known to use explosive shots. Anyway. <laughs> so So Emso is pretty much protected as long as Either you, as either, either you, Scrap, or one of the gym powers is in, is in the bar. Mm -hmm. And this, and both the bar and the school is expanded. Like even Orca's bar is permitted to soar up into the school, as pretty much a train, a live train ground. I know because that's pretty much what, what we have. When I was in high school, what I come to fool and prep. Nice. Uh, I guess we have to wait for women to get back to see if she wants to do anything with even the pirate crews. I, so I imagine, also, I imagine that within like the six months. Feb would be trying to convince, you know, some individuals to join the Order of the Flagon. But, right, that's just him. And he likes his order. And he likes his beer. Uh, that the Give this the largest power ship. The gym powers is A crew members. We'll, we'll to see if some of them actually decide, you know what? You know what? We're going to see if we can do the Order of the Flagon while still being a member of Pirates. Uh, what would you want me to roll for that? Ah. Uh, let me double check real quick. Yeah, this, yeah I'm going to start to diplomacy. Oh, thank God. A skill that's not a negative. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have a negative three for bluff. A plus three for diplomacy. Oh, big number, big number, big number, big number, big number. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Stop! A 20! I say you get about 10 members, like, you know what? If if that beer is that good, maybe or the flagon might be a might be a good bet after all. Yep. And Veb gives like uh, copies of like some hand notes he's made towards how to make good beer. And they happily take it because if you make good beer, you pretty much get a little bit of a bonus when they write ships. Like, ah, oh, this is the Best beer I had. Here's a little bo here's a little bonus for your dear captain. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now I have to wait for Seawall get back to see what's going what what would be the fate of the Black Garden Gym Pirates? Will they help them? Will they try to get them on their side? I hope he can convert some. I guess. Uh, Siwa? I think he's still off. Oh, I think he's still away from now. I think he said he was getting something about food. Yeah.
I guess uh, until uh, until Seawall comes back. Uh, what's going on between uh, mine uh, between uh, me and C and Nameless's uh, cooking and brewery school? And also, pretty sure the ice cream place is just a money factory at that point. Say again, Nameless. I'm pretty sure the the ice cream place is just a money factory at that point. Oh, absolutely. Oh. See, see, team can sp spread the ice cream worldwide. Like, but the points they want to use um, advertiser skills or cooking skills, they want to just spread naturally through word of mouth. And honestly, I think it's literally going to be just be spreading by word of mouth alone. Uh, say a game name this. I'm pretty sure it's gonna just be spreading through word of mouth alone, through quality. Mm -hmm. It's literally the like the equivalent of the uh, what was the name of that really popular sauce with the chicken logo on it? Chicken uh, blood. The the the, the, so the hot sauce that, that has that chicken symbol on Sriracha? it. Sriracha. Sriracha sauce. Yes. That spread through purely word of mouth without any advertisement. And amazingly, there was a factory, and for some reason, people stated they hated going to the town because they could smell the uh, factory. <laughs> they don't know what they were missing. And so, they, mm -hmm. and so people stopped by the town, figured out, oh my god, this, this is amazing. And I was also burning my tongue off, but it's amazing. Mm hmm. Yeah, you know, mix it in with like some uh, soy sauce, some fish oil. You got yourself a nice little uh, something that goes well over rice. I I never had that sauce before. I'm sadly I probably I can't anymore. So. Oh, why is that? Heart problems, dude. <laughs> Heart. Oh, okay. Huh? Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a shame to hear. Like I'm literally on disability because my my heart's fucked up. <laughs> Maybe you'll be able to enjoy some nitrogen ice cream at some point in the future. Maybe if we can get a transplant, that's also out the question. My so much so much happening to me within a few years that they said the is all but a meal. The last surgery I was in, 60 foot mortality rate, so obviously don't want to take a chance of giving me <laughs> give me a heart transplant. 63% mortality rate. That is not fun. Like I think the lower above. Uh, like I say, I'm thinking lower above. I I rolled high, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So the ice cream is spread all over the world. People want to try some. Like even even mem well, okay, member service can can come on, but their apprentices can. <laughs> so they t so they go up, take the ice cream, and then scroll them back to their masters to say, "Hey, here's a famous ice cream." <laughs> yeah, fun times. Say again? Very fun times. <laughs> and here's a tricky part. If although I highly doubt Seawall would fail, if somehow he fails and former first lady becomes a president, then she can use her personal authority like hey, I'm coming as a member of the council I'm coming here as a president of of Starlight Valley. <laughs> uh. 
Alright. So, out of curiosity, when it comes to uh, uh, mine and uh, Nameless's uh, school for uh, culinary and brewery, did we ever actually have to kick anybody out? Or did... I'm going to see a few, a few people out. Well, some, some of them were just not that good at cooking, but most of them that you had to kick out were pretty much arrogant, you know, arrogant, you know, ones like, I come from a royal family. I come from royalty. I come from nobility. I come from, even, even some, even, even one person that's in, um, the spy nation that, um, the core master is from. Try to come to his school, and Cormac's one. You're like, hey, um, that's 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 a person from my nation, from my from my former nation. You gotta be careful. She probably wants to steal, oh, she probably wants to steal everything just to transfer back to, to just to transfer back to her, for um, so called a great leader. But yeah, you get. But yeah, you, you have to kick some people out. Some for work. Some because they're bad cooks. Some because they're pretty much up their own ass. And so, and one because she was a spy. Or he was a spy. So what are you gonna do about that? For the spy, does he at all look familiar? Like uh, him before? Uh, no. The core map. The core master points you out like. Hey, he's a spy because he's from my nation. He's from my former nation. And okay. core master comes from nation of spies. I look to Nameless. To uh, Nameless. Like, scrap. Got herself a spy. How do you want to handle this? You're looking at Scrap or my character? Yeah. Sorry, too nameless. Sorry. Oh, oh, is, is, is Koshi even there? Well, is he still at the underwater city? Shit. You mean the underwater prison? Yeah, the, you know, the pirate base. Fuck, I mixed up characters. I'm, I'm almost... I'm, okay, so... To make things a little easier, I want to say before you left, you had, you had a couple of Sydney, you create a couple of Sydney stones. Yes. So you could, so could talk back and forth. If, okay. In an emergency. So that way we can always, always make sure that you're informed of the status of the ice cream factory. Yes. So that way, if anyone tries to fuck with it, you'll know. You'll have some red velvet ice cream. Mm-hmm. A little irony, but good enough. Yep. Okay. Uh, so now you're able to contact the name is about the um, spy and the trainer. Yes. School. With Sending Stone. Uh, Oshi. We have yes. a bit of a. We have a spy in our school. Which school? The one for uh, brewing. For brewing. Uh, here, food and ice cream. Mm -hmm. How do you want us to, to deal with that? Because I kind of was figuring that just simply uh, killing would be too much of a problem because some of these people are a bit well known. Some come from royalty and they're very hoity toity. So, they're very much invested into the ice cream business, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes. I don't suppose they wouldn't mind a little bit of, uh, food poisoning. A wee bit of salmonella? I suppose that, that, After all, I, cold tends to only pr keep the such things a little inactive. As it melts, it should be a nice wake-up call to his digestive tract. Okay. 
I'll figure out, I'll see what I can do to make sure he gets a, a warm plate of ice cream. After all, it can always just arrive a little bit late. Of course. Whatever. After all. We do have our name on the line. This is our brand. But at the same time, it could just be some asshole who's just trying to spread nasty words about us. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure to run it by William before we don't want to throw off his plans. Yep, we'll do. Okay. Uh, have a good one in there in the underwater prison. Take care. Ba boom. So, you see the spy writing recipes down, pretty much doing, pretty much trying to do, trying to do normal work. Alright, what, so what do you do when you approach him, if you go, if you do approach him? Uh, Gary? Uh, could you repeat what you said? He kind of broke up a bit. Okay. You see his spy, like, write stuff down. What do you do when you approach him? I approach right behind him, put my uh, right arm on top of his right shoulder, and get right to his side. Like, oh, oh, um, Mr. Webb, how you doing? I'm just, um, writing down some recipes. Hey, hey, noticed that. I didn't know that we do have a, uh... Well, and if I was just going to take a quick look, a quick glance at the uh, recipes he has written down. At least that's, a, at least on that one front page that he can see. Hmm. Yeah. Looking good. Got for our tutoring I'm, I'm, session? I'm going to give you this because you have very low, what you're called, and William is not here yet. You know, it's, it's not just the recipes, it's pretty much how they broke it down, all to my detail of what farmland that you're BRB. getting everything from. Hmm. This definitely goes a bit beyond uh, keeping some notes. Uh, I'm just... I'm just, do, I'm just doing my best, sir. Hey. That is always something you want to aspire to, but is there somebody paying you, son? What, what is there you somebody, mean? Is there somebody requesting some of this information? Because you mentioned the specifically our farm, which, granted, public knowledge, it does. You're also indicating information of the specific grand types. Along with, uh, let's see, what else have we got in here? Oh! We also have, uh, specifically, the type of wheat. Which, granted, wheat has its own, gen is general, but a very specific wheat type that we've been working on. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. What else am I seeing here? B1837? Huh. Wait. What was that? Oh, right. That was the chemical. Right. Huh. And then Veb looks back to soon. Like, A at the book is like, how's the, that's a freaking bar, how's a freaking barkeep know about all this? <laughs> I am a member of the Order of the Flygen. Brewing is my lifeblood, and I've assisted my friend, Scrap, when it comes to making an amazing restaurant, and a good colleague of mine, Koshi, with ice cream, and to which for that, I mean, I've helped with the uh, ice cream floats. So, and you guys actually see his feet trying to shuffle Getting ready to take off. Uh, Vep steps. Vep takes his uh, right foot and places it on uh, his left foot. 
Oh, no, no, no. Please, keep seeing, keep seeing. There's still a few other things you need to look over. I, I think I'm done for the day, Teach. I'm just going to go to my dorm and um, call it a day. <laughs> Neb, grabs my foot. <laughs> Neb grabs him. And physically forces him down into his chair. Okay. You are not going to move. You are not going to run away. Is that understood? Intimidation with a vantage. There you are. Uh, where? Uh, try again. There we go. Forty-three. He's scared shitless. He, he, he even, he even fucks up trying to drop the smoke bomb. Uh. Try used to escape. If Ed grabs the smoke bomb. Oh, nice. We're using this to uh, try and prepare smoking some meats. But yeah, yeah, that's it, Teeth. This just a smoke. Like, I'm just preparing this for a smoke meat, that's it. Of course. And Veb just, like, places it on the table where everyone, where anyone, where. Actually, we're, like, in, like, probably like, uh, one of those, like, uh, study cubby things like you see in the library. Yeah. These places down the table. Okay. And Veb like uh, gently quote unquote squeezes uh, the student's hand. Here's what we're going to do. Who exactly is it that is trying to have you copyright to try and engage in copyright theft of our recipes. There is, after all, a difference between learning how we cook stuff, coming up with your own recipes, and hell, even copying what we publicly make available, compared to this. And Feb just, like, takes the notes and just starts crumpling them up. Before just putting the notes in his mouth and just swallows them. He just looks to the left to the right and like Like takes out fire like off off the off of the glory of the off of the glory of the Ah sorry I can't Off of the glory of the fearless leader and tries to take some cyanide. Feb grabs him by his neck. Grabs him by his mouth, forcibly opens it, and shoves a fist down his throat to try and to at least try and grab the uh, tablet. Uh, wait, was it a tablet or did he have like a was like a liquid vial? It was a liquid vial. Okay. So you have to so you have to grab the vial with his hand, or. Yes, I'm going to or, attempt or to find an antidote quick. <laughs> I'm going to try and grab his file. And after all, Mittens is there. With her evil eyes and the horn poking out. <laughs> revealing her true nature. But yeah, Veb just grabs his arm. Make sure he can't grab, make sure, does what he can to make sure that he can't uh, ingest from the vial. Hey, I'm going to say okay. that, but I'm going to say that Vez way stronger than, his, than Spy Flash do it, so you don't need to run uh, that. I think with a plus eight to strength, I think he's good at that regard. Yeah, <laughs> so you don't, so you don't have to roll for that. <laughs> And just as a pure power move, Veb will just chug the uh, vial right there. Um, that's cyanide. <laughs> this is Veb. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know what to do. How about this? Let's just roll a d100. Or a d200. Alright, d100. If it's if it's a below if it's below a twenty five, you're in the hospital. If it's a nat one, you're you 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 have two death save All right, thirteen. All right, you jump to cyanide. You feel sick, and you wake up in the hospital. Here a point. Or you will, or you will wake up in the hospital, but then you power back up like no, <laughs> like chuck the cyanide and spit and spit the remains in his face. Yep. Like is this what you call a cyanide? Like I heard that country is full of spies. I'm questioning your, I'm questioning how bad, how good you are. Or are you just a rookie? Yep. And to it, I just saw my sheet. I have a uh, 19 to fortitude. <laughs> I probably uh, would have been fine either way. Uh, hello, gentlemen. What the hell's going on? <laughs> that, 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 that's up some cyanide, drunk it, and spit on the dude's face. What? Why were you taking cyanide, Vev? Because because one of the, because one of the because one of the students that infiltrated your school was actually a spy, and I chugged it as a power move to show how pathetic he was. It's not only a spy; it was a spy from the nation the core master came from. She, she won that. Hey, I recognize. The way that moves, he's part of my nation. Keep an eye out. And he found out they had pretty much written everything down, down to my details, what the form, how the forms you use, the the grains you get, every single thing. Veb caught him. He tried to he tried to escape. Veb stopped him. He tried to sign. I say. All hail fearless leader, but he grabbed him, took the sign that drunk it. That night, that ninety six was whether he um, survived or not, and it spit in his face. So you caught a spy on on your own, Kiri, is what I'm hearing. Yep, that I did. I just got, I just got done. Go Going to see my folks, you know, had a nice burger and two, just get to hang out with my mom. I get back. Oh, yeah. Gary drank a whole thing of cyanide in front of a spy as a power move. It's like, the fuck? <laughs> Can you imagine more, like, a more power move than that? No. They, they try to take the poison that's meant to kill them. You just take it. You just chug the whole thing. You stare at him, and you like have like a small burp. It's like tasty. <laughs> yep. I again, my character is a freaking dwarf with a nineteen fortitude. Yeah, dwar dwarf cooking is supposed to be very fucking deadly to humans, so you're probably just used to it. That's probably <laughs> like a light gar a light seasoning on your salad. What, why do I think? Why do you think I said only on that one will kill? Will have have you two death saving rolls, not just outright kill you? Mm -hmm. So, do we have someone that infiltrated? What was it your school, Vib, or our school, or just our school in general? Our school. Your school in general. Oh, that's yep. And after uh, chucking the cyanide, Vib grabs. Uh... The quote unquote stooped. How about we uh, take a walk? Yeah, he's first he's petrified of you, like, oh, he'll glorious leader. <laughs> <laughs> you you zapped yeah. all the will to fight out of that dude. <laughs> Want a glorious leader? Oh, hey, Mittens. How are you? 
What the hell is that? <laughs> ah, that's Mittens. She's a good girl. Uh, we're going to... Uh, we're going to... Say again? Say again? Say again? I, I, I'm just sitting here sighing, just basically like, uh, another person to torture. Can we not just have a peaceful day of not torturing someone for information? <laughs> this is going to be near impossible. Yeah, I mean, we can always just call up William and bring out his surgical tools. Unfortunately, it's Seawall's out because we had, because we had another problem, which we ain't going to do with the two power crews that's on your side. Because one of them, like I said, you have all the information of how of how they run things, and one of them that the largest power ship, but that's because they can't hide any of the booty they have that they put on the ship. That and I was working on converting them to the Order of the Flagon. Well, I wish you success. I was the A from A crew members you convert convert. Ten. Mm-hmm. Why? Why do I imagine Ved like as you're taking this guy up for a, a walk? Like, I don't know. You probably pass by the classroom I'm teaching at, and I have like that, just like you know, cook style outfit. And you just basically like, hey, can I talk to you? And I see you just having this student by his fucking arm, almost crushing it. And he pretty much recognized this student as one a student from your class as well. <laughs> oh. And, uh, Mittens is not exactly hiding her nightmare form. I'll just look- I'll, I'll probably just look at the class and be like, Alright, everyone, um, take five. Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> As I probably, you know, look normal going out the door, you know, close the door. So that way no one can, uh, or for the classroom, so no one's seeing the hallway. I'm just gonna look at you, Veb, and be like, what did he do? I hand him... Oh, wait. Hang on. In order to do that, I have to uh, regurgitate the notes. He was what? a spy. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 no, 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 no! Come on! <laughs> didn't have to do that! I didn't have a. What did I just step into? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, two. Yeah, two issues. One, what are you going to do with the two, the two crowd crews that are on your side? And two, apparently, apparently, the nation that the core master came from sends a spy to Web and to Web and um, Web and Scrap School to start stealing notes and secrets. From both Bab, Scrap, and the entire nation as a whole. Did did we prevent it? Say again? Veb think cyanide in front of the dude as he tried to take his own cyanide pill. Veb fucking took it himself. No, no, no. Not cyanide pill, cyanide drink. <laughs> he... And Veb drank the whole damn thing in front of him. <laughs> with, a, with no problem to it. Oh god, your farts are gonna be nasty for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, pretty much, one, pretty much once Viv, once Viv, once the spy found out that the jig was up, he tried to run. Viv spots him. He tried to negotiate at him. Viv said, shit down. He said, he just said, fuck it, all hell glorious leader. Take the sign I, take the sign I drank to try to drink it down. Then grabbed his hand, grabbed the cyanide, drunk him down, and spit in his face. <laughs> and, that, and, and now the spy is paranoid. <laughs> or can repeat his all hail glorious leader. <laughs> that and Mittens kind of is uh, revealing her nightmare form. I'm just going to look at you, Veb, as you did that. I'll be like, Really? Did you have to do it in the hallway? What? We have a... We have a delinquent that needs to be properly punished. Yes, but can you not try to throw up in the hallway? 
We're trying to keep a decent institution. I know, th I know this dude as I like I, I as like I like I'm getting near the dude as like I'm giving like the big like pat on the back, but it's more like punch him in the back. Like this dude right here, <laughs> like four times. Like yes, he will tarnish the school a little bit, but you're doing that. It's just weird. <laughs> At least do it when we're private. How am I gonna explain this to the janitor? <laughs> As you, as you argue, he's trying to get another smoke bomb out to try and toss on the floor. And oh, no, he's basically not. holding on to him at the same time. He's not leaving my No, hand. no, I meant, I meant from his... I mean, he's using his, he's using his teeth to go to his jacket. Now, I, I immediately grabbed, like, his forehead. Like, like it seemed like me and Veb were just having, like, a little argument. He thinks it's the time. Next thing you know, a fucking hand grabs his forehead as he turned boot down. I just look at him. Uh, what? Just you remember, it also, do it. it's not just me and Scrap, there's also Mittens. All, all he knows is the mission has failed, it's time to escape with all the knowledge to bring back to my glorious leader. You are not <laughs> going anywhere. Also, you're going to have a couple options. Do you want to give up and tell us? What else is going on here? Or would I want to feed you to this as I point the mittens? <laughs> he just says, he just says all hail glory's leader and he just says all uh, hail glory's leader and walks the mittens. <laughs> no, no, he, he stops him from walking the mittens before he even says all hail glory's leader, he just slaps him. <laughs> <laughs> and then Scrap just takes a uh, he takes um like a thing out of his pocket or underneath, like, his little, uh, apron. Pulls out this little needle, sticks it in the dude's neck, and just knocks him out. <laughs> He's a little night-night, night-night drug. No, nope, look at me, med. And before you, and before you do that, uh, the core master walks up like, and why do you think I left that nation in the first place? Put us in a bubbly form, like, oh, why do you think I left that nation in the first place? The, the spy looks at her, like, traitor! Try to go after and, her before he put her to, put him to sleep. And, and I'll look at Veb, and I'll say, huh? I'll get some of my associates to take a, take this one to the secret place. Okay. And I, I, I basically give a, I give a call and two shadows in disguise as, like, staff members come in to take the unconscious spy to... William's little uh, prison cell for uh, interrogation. And of course, he is going to be stripped down to nothing but a skivvies. And he is also be given the prison check, a.k.a. rubber glove cough <laughs> type of deal. Mm -hmm. They're not taking any uh, You, you find, know what you have in his prison pocket? You find a lot of things to escape, to, um, to um, knock people out of necessary, and to and several methods to, for him to, to well, game over himself if necessary. And a couple of more cyanide pills, a cy another cyanide drink, uh, a, knife of, a knife, a knife, a knife of a poison tip to stab himself with. Out of curiosity, like, these, these like, fights are hardcore. Out of curiosity, is this a one student dorm room or like a multi person dorm room? Uh, multi -person. Multi person, but he is waiting to all his um, his wait. He wait to all his class. He wait to all his um, uh, dorm buddies left before he started writing down those. That's when you came in. Uh, so, so for cyanide. <laughs> say again? I say mittens. Sniffer cyanide. <laughs> She, he does. <laughs> Alright, so she can help us find all the cyanide vials. Oh, okay. So, so I, as uh, Min's the, the drug-sniffing... <laughs> nightmare? <laughs> yes, drug-sniffing nightmare is doing that. <laughs> like, as, you know, they're... That's a more part of this video, by the way, the drug-sniffing nightmare. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
you know, they put they put the spy onto the chair for like the inter- in the interrogation room. They make sure to tighten um, the straps around his arms, his legs, and even his head, so he can't move his head. And the arms and legs are being tight enough, just enough that it will have enough circulation, but just one more notch, it will almost cut off all blood flow. You can also see those spies trying to snap his own neck. Yeah, that's not really helping you. We put... I, said, I said try. I didn't say succeed. Oh, yeah. I, I, uh, as I see this happen, I just turn on like one light that shines towards him and says, You are really one persistent man, I will say. But that it, you are tied up in the most unescapable way, my friend, so I would rather you not try to struggle as this happens. I, uh... Our leader will remain supreme while the crowd the entire world. All and slap him in the face. Huh? <laughs> I slap him in the face. <laughs> be like, shut up with that, you're annoying me. Anyways, as Scrap, Scrap, like, pulls out, uh, like, this little cloth set, and he rolls it out. It's not the same as William's stuff, but it's almost to a copy, you know, all, the, like, the circle tools and stuff. So I'll be like, oh. I'm just gonna ask you a couple questions, and depending on how you answer, either you get the nice treatment, the bad treatment, or I just slap you. <laughs> so, was it just you... Was it just you that arrived, or were there others? In he the background. Si- he stays silent. <laughs> in the background, you hear... <clears throat> but... Oh, God. Oh. So, Scrabble, we'll look at him. Like, All right, we're going to go down that road. So, the heart treatment. He, yeah. I get at that, my little, at that my point, little... like Veb looks to Mittens, going, "You're that hungry?" <laughs> oh, Mittens' stomach is growling. Oh God! So he, he, just, Scrapple, he, just, he just stays silent. Scrapple will look at Kiri. Make sure he doesn't try to stab his own neck. I'm gonna make a call. And Scrap like leaves the room. Yep. William, do you read over? What do you need? We got a spy, or we capture an enemy spy in our university. We have him in the in room one. If you would like to come down, he tried to kill himself a couple times, but we have him really strapped down. Ooh, we got a bit of a true believer. Yeah, um, bring him to the. Uh, have him quietly brought up to the uh, storage. Well, not storage. Uh, have them quietly brought up to the um, what was it? Um, so what, what, what would you the Clockwork Orange or whatever that is room. No, that's not going to work on a. Uh, that'll take too much time. We'll have to do this the fast way. Well, I was planning on getting some info if there are any more spies. It seemed he collected a lot of info on. Not only our university, but our nation itself, and wanted to take it back. Uh, Scrap will look through some of the notes. He, of course, he's put on gloves for this. Oh. And uh, Ty, what are some of the notes? Like, what were some of the notes he took down? Like the secrets that he wanted to uh, bring back. Uh, Vent, no, Vent no. cleans the notes off as best as he can. Uh, not all. So, the time he's been here, not only knows how the farmer has been acquired, how the, what, what farmers are growing, how to take back, how to take the farm as is necessary, how to take down the can necessary, what the princess has been up to, what pretty much right down... The only thing is not really an issue to us. Like, pretty much, you, you expect what a master spy is. Take down every single note to bring back to his leader for... For their eventual arrival. Just gonna read and, off and, the and, list. According to the fact that Rome is, including the fact that Rome's the, the true man in charge. I'm just gonna read off the 
the list to William on the inter- on the radio, and then I'm gonna say, "Oh, it seems like someone finally figured out that you are the true mastermind." Took him long enough. That's not good. Yes. Um, we will get we'll get this uh, uninvited guest to the location you'll need. It'll be me, Veb, and a couple shadows moving him along. Um, in the background, you hear the sound of like uh, bones crunching and a scream. I look. I go back in the room. Uh, Mittens just has a bit of like, like the hand and a little bit below the elbow, going down her throat. Mittens, no, that's dirty. No. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it, is it, is it going to um, sniff the rooms and make sure there's any more cyanide involved? Oh, she already sniffed. She sniffed out all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, and, you said that she yeah, didn't yeah, find she, yeah, she found, she found she, the the steward pretty much had made several hidden like compartments for his notes, for his cyanide, for his weapons. Ah, yeah, she okay, pre- so he pretty much redecorated the room to um. In that to, case, Beth has like God knows how many a number of vials or pills on him. Like like pills, vials, weapons. You pretty much have to shut down that door. You pretty much have to shut down that door room to find, uh, to and have to do find other places to sleep until you could mm-hmm. pretty much fix it back up to normal. Yep. That's oh, how much. Um, that's pretty much how much sin stuff he he made. Yep. And, and the he made. And that's also assuming uh, Mittens didn't drink some of the cyanide because memory serves. Ponies much less nightmares, aren't affected by cyanide the same way humans are. I'm going to assume you told him not to drink the cyanide, at least not until you you get your hands on it. Mm-hmm. Well, Great. She is your own... She is a, she is a strong, independent woman. <laughs> she knows what to do. Anyway, what's about to... Anyway, continue. <laughs> Scrap. God damn. Hence why she's yeah. eating the, the. Hence why she's eating part of his arm. Scrabble immediately makes sure Mins doesn't eat the rest, and uh, he'll order cover shadows to ready the chair. So the the chair answers is like is like put onto like a little like a. Uh, oh god, what's the thing? It's like a it's a board on wheels that they'll push. The chair will be on the board, but they're like pushing it like how it's grocery stores. No, not a stretcher. Like how some grocery stores will have um, not like the. Oh god, what is it? Why am I blanking on the name? Hey, it's just oh, a. It's, it's a wooden. It's a wooden board with four wheels and a little metal bar that you push with if you want to put a lot of stuff on it that's too heavy to move by hand so you just put it on that board and move it at once it's like stuff for moving I don't know but you know what I mean I know what you're talking about I, I just, just don't know what it's called name. either it, uh, it, and it's I was structure yeah so we we put him on that, make sure the chair is secured on it, and make sure his straps are still good. And we just cough, and I grab another syringe, be like, night, night time, and I stab him with the... <laughs> and uh, we start moving him to a, a more private uh, room, where I'm guessing William is waiting. Yep. Uh, before, and... we, we, before we have him leave the room, we obviously uh, cover up uh, his wound... So he's not bleeding everywhere. Yeah, we we I'm, we I'm trust going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go have the doc that the doctor come by to um at least um pat down the wound so he's not so he's not bleeding to death by the time we get back to get to the next yep. place. And don't worry, mittens helps with cleaning up the blood by just licking it up. <sighs> so so we start moving this by to uh the new room where uh. So we have, we have Vip, Scrap, and Doctor Hill Joe moving the spy to William's room. 
Mittens. mittens. Don't forget mittens. And mittens. Oh, yeah, and mittens. Yeah. And Scrap just knocks on the door. Be like, well, are you going to be there? Oh, yes, come in. <laughs> Opens the door. The board. That push thing gets brought in. All right, where do you want him? Surgical table. He points over to yeah. the uh, surgical table that's been prepped, including right. the head vice. All right. Yep, and uh, he moves with the shadows. They, uh, he's still knocked out. They transition to the surgery table. They make sure the straps are on good, like really tight to where it's almost impossible for him to move. Mm-hmm. And I just have the syringe with the wake-up juice. I'll be like, would you want to wake up naturally or wake up immediately? Uh, we'll let him wake up naturally. I've got to do some prep work anyway. Uh, Mittens belches in his face. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> so, and, uh, we give, just wait until he wakes give, up. Give, give the nature he's from knockout juice doesn't affect him that for as long as most others, so about, i say about yeah. two or three minutes later, once you strap him down, he wakes up. Well, I mean, he, he's waking up. His head is in a vice. He's completely strapped down to the table. I'm yeah, I know. I'm just saying, instead of, instead of a couple of hours, it's, it's only a couple of minutes. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So Scrap, uh, Scrap will just look at him as like he starts waking up. It's like, ah, oh, wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. How was your nap? He he's trying he's trying he's trying to grab he's trying to move to grab you. Ah, uh, <laughs> I, I just looked down. Do you not think we would have had you tied down as hard as we could? You, I don't know if you're like determined or just stupid. Anyways, now it, now it's a good thing you had that um, mouth check you did, because he's try because he's trying to swallow something. Like, wait, where is it? That was his, that was his emergency sign. I fell in his um, tooth. Yeah, you, was uh, obviously you grabbed. Mitten check, mitten scrap. No, 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 Veb, Veb. Well, because what what my shadows and I did, like when it was knocked out the first time, was we literally searched everything, every crevice in his body. And yes, Mittens assisted with that. You don't want and to know he, what you did. He did where the sun doesn't shine. <laughs> yeah, he yeah he found something in there as well, but but it's usually a, but that was a mercy weapon. But uh. I'll just look at him, and I'll start laughing a little bit. You are... Do you take us for fools, sir? Did you not think we would have not searched in your mouth? Also, uh, I, I, must, I, must, I must say, I am really impressed with you, sir. I don't know how you did it down there. I don't know if it was years of training or just a lot of lube, but... C- congratulations, my friend. That's the first I've ever seen of pulling a weapon out like that. Mitten sticks her tongue out, and there's a tooth on it. Her tongue. <laughs> oh, was this was your hidden was your fake tooth with the cyanide? Yeah, you're gonna you're missing a couple of teeth, and I'm saying this quotation marks. But enough about that. You kept a lot of detailed notes, my friend, and uh, our good friend here. Oh, he's just getting ready at the moment, Great. but he would love to meet ya. Oh, uh, he'll call his leader. <laughs> I, I slap him. <laughs> I told you, when you keep saying that, I'm gonna slap you. Imagine the sound of the Doom Slayer as he's walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when Seawall walks in in his surgical gear. Yep. Then the door opens, and you see that. <laughs> No, no, no! It's not that. No, it's not that. It's the it's the uh, medic from TF2 when he opened when the doors open. That's Willie. Uh, uh, from meet the and medic. a whole bunch of yeah. pigeons. Yeah. Yeah. No, owl, no, uh, no! It's a couple of pigeons, but also a mechanical owl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so is this when William comes in? You know, all all ready and stuff. And this, and this time when William comes in, he's trying to do everything to end his life. He's trying to choke himself out from the from the strap. He's trying to snap his own neck. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. That- well, no, no, no. He's in, like, a brain surgery head clamp. He ain't fucking moving. He doesn't know that. He's trying to say, I'm, my yeah, mission failed. Trying, trying I'm trying to kill myself now. 
before he forced me to reveal the seek the secrets from oh, from don't, our oh don't worry. I, as I kind of tap I, on the face, Veb's, part of Veb's hand is in his mouth. Yeah. Everything will be fine. It won't take long. And then I get to work installing one of those like partial replacements for the skull that has the permanent dominate person on it. Mm -hmm. So and yes, while this is going on, Veb has his left hand inside the guy's mouth to make sure he can't close his teeth perfectly. Yep. And, and, and he grabs sure to, to make sure to make sure he doesn't bite his own tongue off. Very yep. impressive. So what I'm going so I'm assuming the surgery goes well. Again, you know. uh, yeah, you also see that it's not the first time it has been cut open. So, Oof. like I said, that nation oh. is pretty um, ruthless. But yeah, the surgery does go well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just, just another day. How much screaming is involved? He's 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 called silent. But he's not trying to place his leader, he's pretty much saying nothing. He doesn't want to give away anything. But now we want something that he he can't get rid of. With how silent he is, uh, Vep's going to ask William, keep a sample of his blood. Maybe there's something in there that can make it so people are more resistant to pain. Oh, don't worry, we're going to be keeping him very much alive. Um, you know, so I'll install the thing, and then I'll activate it, so now I've got c control of the guy. <coughs> you try to say it one last time before it's doing before it activates. Glory to the glorious queen. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yep. Now that I'm in control, uh, I look at him. My hand is still in his mouth. He's not getting away that easily. Yep. He's not saying that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll well, that's what he look, thinks he's saying. Yeah. I'll look over the man and I'll go, all right, how much information have you spread outside of, the, outside of this? Yeah, how, many, how much information did he know? How much information that can send back to that nation? How much has he sent back? And what has been sent? Uh, uh, look, so... buddy, we're going to be nice to you. No, Veb, Veb. He's no, no, he's, he's, no, 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 he's, no, he's completely hypnotized. So, dominate person. So, yeah, so, he, so, he, so, 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 um, so, 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 but false information to completely screw them over. And you're also going to give my friends here every little detail about who you're working for. We were sent here to make sure you're not a threat and to overcome you. A threat to what? And again, to our, to our to our nation, the council is in tied up illegal work, but you are not. That's why our leader considered you more as a threat. I would also like to reinforce that my hand is in his mouth, so he can't bite his tongue off or try and find well, some of his teeth. No, first he, has, he has to speak, so I'm going to see you have to take his mouth out eventually. To... Yeah, I take him out just enough so he can speak, yeah. but my hand is still in there enough to quickly jab it if I think he's going to kill himself, try to bite his tongue off, or if it looks like he's about to try and find a false tooth. I'm going to assume you found all the false teeth. Yep. So, all right. So that's your answer. He think his nation thinks that you're a bigger threat than the council because you're pretty much more f free and further than the council was who has strict <coughs> structures around them. Yeah. 
Mm. All right, I think we lost the wall. No, I'm still here. I'm just uh, multitasking. Well, out of curiosity, within your nation, are there any specific people that we should be aware of? Maybe some people that would be considered revolutionaries? Those that don't exactly like the way your country operates? Those people are taken care of. Even through, bra even through brain manipulation or personal manipulation. The only person, few people who got away, including that traitor from earlier. The most are caught, maybe are hypnotized, or have their family threatened. Surely you got a name. I don't remember. And you can see he was one of the people that tried to rebel and, well, got caught. Uh, William, this thing makes sure that they cannot lie, correct? He is not allowed to lie to us. Okay, so in that case, he genuinely does not know the name of that individual. Hmm. Is there somebody that you know that would happen to know the name of said revolutionary? It's back in our nation, but it's near possible for him to leave. He goes by, we, we just refer to him as the Colonel. The I think his Colonel. real name is, uh, like, Ivan Dragunov. Or is it Victor? No, Victor. Victor. Dragon Iganov or Victor? Victor. Ivan was his son. He got killed by the glorious, by the leader. He almost, he almost slipped by the same glorious leader. So no love loss. Uh, William. Yes? Do, do you feel there's anything else we need out? Or shall we just uh, go back with the idea of, you know, putting the this student back with a prosthesis because Mittens was hungry? And then just have him operate under our jurisdiction. Well, at least what we want him to know. Or should he be considered an expelled student? This individual we're talking about right now? Yeah. Mm. We'll uh, make it seem like he's gone on leave, uh, gone on sick leave for the moment, uh, but we'll use him to feed bad information uh, to his handlers. Alrighty. So he's on a quote unquote internship. Unfortunately, as much as I hate that, we do have to make it seem like he is doing that legitimately. So he may, he unfortunately may have to go to our farm. Because where there's one spy, there's always another. Shit. How do we explain the prosthesis? Well, That's uh, this, oh, this thing is uh, prosthesis. Goes, you hear um. This thing is not. Yeah. This is a bit of his skull has been replaced. We put the uh, 
flash back over it, hiding it, like we did with the king. And that's just it's yeah, like a plate, it's basically a metal plate in the skull. Uh, mittens kind of ate part of his arm off just below the elbow. Oh, okay. That's the only prosthesis I'm thinking that would be tricky to explain. There Unless are. there's like some explosion or something that happens. Which we, 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 we could we could come up with some sort of report of an industrial accident. Not that hard. Yep. While he was at the internship. Bad mm -hmm. maintenance. And with that, we would have a bunch of people being tried for, like, incompetency. <sighs> which then would solidify the notion of it was pure chance that he happened to lose a part of his arm. Yep. And as you say that, oh, th if there's one spot, there's more than one. You hear, well, try to, you hear someone try to break into the, the rail, like, can, can you hear me? And it's the core master. Somehow he, somehow she, um, like, I'm sorry to wire this sucker for this. Can you hear me? Mittens runs to the quartermaster. She, she, you see her sniper scope in hand, looking down the scope like, I can see that I can see the target from fifty yards away. Is his is his fellow spy? Shall I blow his head off, sir? Boom! And remember, she's used explosive bullets as her signature. Vamp says, "Boom." Mitten says, "Boom." Uh, watch you that. Do you want anyone want to give any other orders before she just blows this dude's head off? Her head off. Now, this is the person that we're with, or someone else. There's the person there. There's the person the spy capture was with. Uh, William. Do we accept the uh, assassination order? Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. All you see is like, boom, boom. And you just see, and you just see like blood skin. You just see something into the, you see the, you see out the window, the bullet travel like max speed, hit a target, the head just goes boom. Uh, Mittens goes over to the scene of the crime and just starts eating the body. Like, Mr. Accomplice. Does he, does he go back to her bubbly personality? Like, ah, oh, that was fun! I gotta, I gotta, I tell, I gotta tell the, um, I gotta tell the gunsmith to lord the, lower the, um, Pressure on the um, gas canister takes a little too much kickback. After eating the body, uh, Mittens goes back to the quartermaster and just starts like getting like giving a uh, like pony nuzzles. Ah, it's a good little Mittens, nice and gentle. Yep, and she's not even trying to hide her nightmare form. Remember, she's seen worse. So. A, a nightmare horse to her is like literally a pony. A nightmare horse is pretty much a pony to her. <laughs> mm hmm So yeah, you have one spy who's um going to be away on leave, and not a spy who's dead. Dead, dead. <laughs> yep, and will probably reappear in like 24 some odd hours. Depending upon how fast the GI track of a horse works. <laughs> yeah, but that's another story of which I'm never going to tell ever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, the original question before we end this session. You have two crowd crews. One, 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 like one from, um, 
the the Black Guard pirates, who you now know is relying on up, uh, who now know has an underground city and rely on Gerald Gerald for a lava river to hear up the thing, and the and the gym pirates, who's who has the biggest pirate ship in the world because they have because they have all the stuff in that pirate ship because they can't take back to attempt for obvious reasons. What what he wants to do with them? Convert them to our side. Make them legal privateers. Uh, William. Make them tre treasure hunters. Yes. Uh, you you agree with Veb to make them private full time privateers? Oh, I was. I would definitely say uh, I. I would definitely say I would prefer to have start them start training up for commerce rating without actually being full on hitting stuff for now, just because again we're to, we, we seem to be the we're the, we're the enemy of the pirates. Say again. We kind of go with enemy of the pirates. Yeah. You know. We, we, so. Say again. I can't hear you. We're we're gonna have them start training up for commerce rating using the smaller, faster ships we've been developing. So we're going to start training them up on that rather than having them go out and be pirates. All right, so build up the sloops. All More right. specifically, patrol boats. All right, no problem. We have steam power PT boats, man. We've, we've evolved past uh, We've evolved past the sloop. We're now <laughs> on the PT. We've evolved past pirates, pirates and privateers. You, you, want, you now uh, want more, more small so, motor boats. So JFK level uh, PT boats. Pretty much, yeah. Just very steampunky in styling. Mm -hmm. All right, so the Black Guard pilots will leave their main pirate ship on the island. Unfortunately, they have. To, unfortunately, the gym pirates have to leave their ships on your land because, like I said, they can't take it back to the temple. Not without getting kicked out of said temple. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and so yeah, that's that's what happened in six months. They you train them from being pirates to to privateers to merchant boats with more fa with more faster stuff their options. Mm -hmm. and, and after all, because of that, the core master is now permanent resident on the island because without 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 a ship, she has no job anymore. <laughs> Like well, wow, power ship. She has no job anymore since she's no. She doesn't have a first mate position. She's still on. She's still on a black watch, black guard crew, but she, she has nothing else to do now. Oh, don't worry. We'll find something for her to do. She could be like a good solid drill sergeant. Something that can teach people how to by, operate. By two, two, two sadistic drill sergeants. <laughs> Like, co co not all they do is convert um, blood pike, you have, you have to hold the unholy trinity. <laughs> um, granted, I think you're the only one that served in the military, but I'm pretty sure that uh, sadistic and uh, drill sergeant are synonymous. Oh, don't get me started on, on, on Singer Chief Beldo. <laughs> Very long story, very short. Now remember, I was I was out during service week in that time, so I was out. So I was out. So 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 I had midnight service story, so I was out. You know, making sure the cafeteria is good and stuff like that. CRT Bell though, and cover um, have cover her associates. Ryan dropped barracks and says, "What's the what's the ex?" What's the X general or what's the six general or what's the eighth general order? And everyone failed tremendously. So when we got back, was after we got back we could go to sleep, we see everyone in the push up position. Like, what's going on? And she was like like she was like, Don't worry about it, go to sleep. They and then they told us later, like, oh, Team Gibraldo ran Drew. Commit and especially on the spot like two o'clock in the morning, they all fail, so we're going to, so we're going to train these guys <laughs> again. And that's just a taste. 
So, yeah. Ah. So, anything else you want to do for this during the six months? Uh, further, further expanding the school, the farm, and trying to convert more people to the uh, Order of the Flagon. Especially right. since I don't exactly like the Grand Master. This, like, convert or the flag in. You know, you now know that the the na the nation that the Grand the Quorum as it comes from is now interested in your island, and since that's a threat, like, like the um the um Grand Sorceress has decided to travel the world to. Pretty much, if so, what's actually going on in the world with me, her, 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 however, their presence is coming to her island to pretty much enjoy her food, enjoy food. To but be remember, fair, remember, remember, you banned the sorcerer council members, not their apprentices. To be fair, the one time we encountered the grand sorceress, see, she seemed like. A nice person? Well, uh, remember, she's a former hero, so... Yeah. She seemed like... R you're the villains! Villain. <laughs> like, that doesn't mean that we can't be amicable. After all, those are always the best relationships. Like, uh, she wasn't now. trying to kill us. Let's just put it this way. She wasn't trying oh, no, to she, kill us. If she was trying to kill you, you'd be long dead. At least in a girl level right now. Exactly. Right, right, she took out an entire hour of when it's 500 miles a minute. And yes, I took that so super and birth to the lead, but it also shows how powerful she is if, if she's if she's decided to take the cuffs off, if you will. Well, I'm going to get going here. I got to go here. Take care, guys. All right. All right. I'll be starting a uh... Dinner up soon. Preparing some uh, French onion soup. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what. Oh, well, that's why I got to show the movie so yep. about. So happy Mother's Day, everyone. Yep. I'm about to show a movie in the other channel. Have a good one, everyone. I just stopped recording.